Hey guys, Dr. Derry here today. So today I'm covering a common question that I always get in the clinic as well as people sending me messages and everything else. So I, I thought, hey, this would be a good topic to cover. So do I need an MRI or not? That's a tricky conversation and a tricky question because a lot of times when I'm answering this question, people are in quite a bit of discomfort. And so they are automatically thinking they need an MRI to help solve their problems. Now I can tell you the MRI just gives you a picture. Right, that picture is a snapshot in time, a split second of how you look or how your back looks when you're lying down in, in an MRI machine for a few minutes. Sometimes you may not have pain lying down. Sometimes you um, only have pain when you move. Well, the MRI doesn't capture that. So that's one, that's one topic and one conversation that we have. The other is you really need to be checking some boxes before you have an MRI. Now that is person dependent and every situation is different. And that is a conversation that you should have with your provider but you shouldn't go into it thinking that you need an MRI. I know back pain stinks, and I know it's really uncomfortable. I've been through it myself, and I've recovered from it, and 90% of us out there have back pain in their life, and there's a majority of us that have back pain every day, so it, it's something that's very common, but we recover, so that's good. And then the, um, the governing bodies that help radiologists as well as ED docs as well as physical therapists help determine if if an MRI may be warranted all kind of have similar themes and I'll attach um, or I'll attach those links at the bottom of this video uh, as well as in the description so you can kind of explore those for yourself but the over overarching theme is that some some characteristics need to be present so one being pain persisting for an extended period of time near two months or so without any improvement uh, any red flags and so the red flags would be um, unexplained weight loss and uh, other questions that your provider would ask you as well as nerve related discomfort and nerve related symptoms in your leg and so you kind of need the whole package so you need some sort of changes in sensation as well as reflexes as well as strength and so you really don't know that on your own without getting a physical exam so i can't stress the importance in, uh, of getting a physical exam in every time that you have um, a back pain that is worrisome or maybe different than something you've recovered before, covered, recovered from in the past. And so all those things need to be considered. And if you look at the literature, those are common themes, very common themes. And there's also some guidelines out there to help determine if, if, uh, if an MRI or other images are needed in a particular situation. So I will tell you CT scans and x-rays do expose you to radiation and there are cases of malignancy that are caused every year because of that exposure, right? So we need to be diligent if we're having um, advanced imaging performed. Also with MRIs, we know there's incidental findings. Like sometimes they go in there and they find things that may not correlate with your symptoms, which could lead you down a path that maybe isn't even necessary at all. Uh, and so everybody is different. Every body is different. And so we need to consider that every time that we're looking at a person if they need an MRI or not. So the overarching answer is do I need an MRI or not? Probably not. But I can't say that confidently without doing a physical exam and asking you some questions. So they need to go hand in hand. So trust your provider, trust your physical therapist, and trust that you will get better and that this back pain will pass. But do you need an MRI or not? Probably not. And that's okay. But um, being diligent with our resources is important. That's how we decrease healthcare costs overall and premiums can go down in an ideal world. So um, we, we gotta take steps in the right direction. So again, this is Dr. Derry here um, answering, do I need an MRI or not? And if you have any questions or concerns, reach out to me. But again, keep moving and uh, take care of yourself.